Russia will increase strikes against logistics centers and storage facilities of Western armaments. Russia will ramp up strikes on Western weapons delivered to Ukraine, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said following the US Congress's long-delayed approval of fresh military aid to Kyiv. We shall increase the intensity of strikes against logistics centers and storage facilities of the Western armament, Shoigu told the ministry's advisory board. Russian servicemen have diffused the myth of the Western weapons superiority, Shoigu said, adding that Russia would continue producing the most in-demand weapons and military hardware in proportion to the threats posed by the United States and its allies. Shoigu described Washington's aid as an effort by the U.S. defense industry to profit off of Russia's war in Ukraine and accused Washington of using Ukrainians to die for its interests. Polish general Bogoslav Patsek stated in an interview with Onet that Kyiv has about a month to prepare for a new large-scale offensive by the Russian army. American assistance will help him with this, but one should not expect more from it. Today, the Ukrainian army is in a very difficult situation, so the military assistance allocated by the Americans should help the Ukrainian armed forces at least somehow rectify the situation. In addition, the supply of additional armoured vehicles, artillery shells and anti-aircraft missiles should allow Ukraine to at least somehow prepare for the Russian offensive, which will begin in late spring. But it will not affect the outcome of the conflict itself, he added. As for defence, Ukraine is holding out with all its might. Everything is missing, not only ammunition, but also much more than would allow her to defend effectively, declared the general. According to Patsek, The Americans cannot give more than they have, so no matter how large the military aid may seem, it will only last for a short time. The new package will help contain the Russian offensive, which is expected by the end of May, so there is a month left for delivery and preparation, added the general. Russians may step up attacks using time before US aid arrives for Ukraine. ISW warns, experts from the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, suggest that the Russians may intensify their attacks using a window before the arrival of new U.S. security assistance to Ukraine. Recall on the 20th of April, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a supplemental appropriations bill that would provide about 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine. The bill now needs to be approved by the Senate and signed by the President before the aid can be delivered. These requirements, as well as the logistics of getting U.S. aid to the front line in Ukraine, are likely to mean that the aid will not start to have an impact on the battlefield for several weeks. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new U.S. aid, the report says. The analysts note that Ukrainian forces may suffer additional setbacks in the coming weeks as they await U.S. security assistance to allow Ukraine to stabilize the front. However, the Ukrainian troops are likely to be able to halt the current Russian offensive if renewed U.S. aid arrives quickly. The report adds, the threat of an operationally significant Russian advance in the coming weeks remains, although the Ukrainian command may have more latitude to take short-term risks with dwindling supplies to prevent such an advance once it knows that more material will be arriving soon. Experts suggest that the Russians are likely to intensify offensive operations and missile and drone strikes in the coming weeks to take advantage of the closing window due to Ukrainian material constraints. In addition, Russian troops are continuing and in some areas have intensified offensive operations likely to take advantage of abnormally dry spring conditions and the ongoing shortage of Ukrainian supplies before the arrival of promised Western security assistance. At the same time, experts point out that Russian troops have achieved only tactical successes over the past six months of a deteriorating situation in Ukraine and are likely to achieve a breakthrough that would make the front line collapse.